Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video we're gonna speak about the software called Atune and the Atune is uh, it's a very nice software where you as a sysadministrator administrator or like a DevOps like me then you can just maintain remotely the machines in, in this case it's called uh, a node but uh, you're basically just creating the blueprints added to the job based on your inputs and if you need to rolling out the, the files then you can just create the files. It's, it's very, very nice. And it's it's pretty simple. It's having the, the community edition. And that's what I'm gonna speaking about here to, today and, and over the next videos. So before we are starting, you can please uh, subscribe to this channel. Then you can get new tech videos every time I'm push, uh, push out. And um, if you have any questions for this software or just the feedback, please make comments below and don't forget to like this. So let's go ahead. You just need to go for this uh, URL first, and when you're going inside there, you can click here for the for the app. You can just click download. When you're hitting this uh, site, you can see this is a community edition. Then you can just uh, type your name and then your password, uh, not password, sorry, your email, and then you will accept the. Uh, the terms for this one and just process to the download when you're here you can just click on, on the Mac OS or you can go in for the Windows you can go in for the for the MSI install or you can use the, the portable one I will select the portable and then it's gonna ask for saving we just save it up here and I'll go in for view download folder When it's uh, download finished, then you can just install it. I will just close my browser here. And we're just waiting a little bit until it's uh, starting up. And then it's almost ready to be up and running. You can just close this down. You can just open the application by clicking on, on HU. And it's because it's already running up after I'm installing that. And I forget that. When you open the iTunes software as the first time, you will have the dashboard, the files, inputs, the blueprint, jobs, and then you have the question mark here. If you need to know something for the documentation, you can just go inside here and, and watch much more for the documentation, of course. And then you have the, the, the logo here and you can have the Classic dash the dashboard, parameters, volume, value, planes, jobs, steps, schedule, settings, and license. If you're going for license, you will uh, discover you have uh, running under the community edition, and we have creating zero out of five target, and we have creating zero out of uh, two uh, schedule. We have the community support, and the expire date is uh, many years ago and then we can see here the version we have the license for and if you have any questions about uh, requesting new license you can just type on email for this uh, support email so let's go ahead and explain a little bit about uh, the dashboard the dashboard is the way when you have creating the jobs you can just put this um, this job into the dashboard so if you're running in, in a company where you daily need to remember to clean up logs if that's the case then you can just have this uh, jobs on your dashboard so you easily can click run 
the files is the way where you basically can create files and upload it prepared for your blueprints and um, you can have a stack of files so you easily can get access for all your, your file types um, just directly in your blueprints and then you have the input the inputs here it's the way you basically create nodes and uh, and login information you can change your network here and then and, and that's very very important to know that because else you can't connect for the for the servers in the blueprints and the, the blueprints is the way we can create a single blueprint and then you can create steps for every single the way you want like hello world and remove a file add a file append a file that's uh, the here the all the magic will happening before you you're going for for the jobs and create a job and select which blueprint you basically just need to use so when all come to all i will say this uh, atune software is, is very nice and it's opened the door for for the way you don't probably think and if I need to compare it with other softwares I, I think I can compare it with like the way you think when when, when you're working with uh, with Docker like in Docker you if you translate it a little bit you can say the blueprint is your Docker Compose so and uh, the inputs it's like the services in Docker if you think that way it's probably make it a little bit easier to understand and the files you can thinking about like the the mount the the mount folder in your Docker. The dashboard could be the Docker uh, desktop version where you basically just can see every important container you're working with, and the jobs could be the the Docker compose uh, uh, Docker compose up like you can do this Docker compose up D commands in, in Docker so I think if you're thinking about it like a, a real world solution we have in, in Docker I think this is a very very great uh, answer on how the software should be so it will be very easy for all to understand how we can log in for the uh, Linux server run a single commands and yeah basically you can you can share your, your blueprints for for other in your team so basically it's, it's like you have a docker file and you can just share that for for the rest of the team it, this way it's the closest i can remember i can come for for like make make schedules stuff for non devops swiss element people for running tasks so I really I really excited about to to make this video about this software so I think you need to give it a try don't forget I will link directly into to this software in my description and I really hope you you want to join and this uh, software have a support channel I will link to the uh, discord channel too and please make a comments uh, on this video if you have any questions i'll try to answer them if i can't i'll try to take uh, check directly contact to the support team and uh, i'm really excited for this and i really love when when i need to, to learn new stuff and i really love when i will record the next video for you thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye